Hi everybody, how are we doing? Thought I'd have a look at some more phones today. Um, there's been some updates recently to a number of things, including Android and iOS. Uh, and I've got a couple of other devices in as well, some a um, little bit older than others. And I'm going to compare what they sound like and see if there's any changes or anything that's been happening in the last six months or so since I did the last video. Um, so let's have a look at what we've got. I'm going to be looking today at so i've got the iphone 10 here uh, pixel xl 2 pixel 2 xl the razor phone the axon 7 which is going to be uh, coming back the this is a new one that i've got recently this is the xiaomi uh, black shark and it's got a couple of uh, pretty good speakers, and we'll see those, or hear those. Uh, I've got my Samsung Galaxy S9 Plus here, and my old favourite, the Marshall London. Uh, and I'm going to be looking at all of these. Well, I'm going to be listening to all of these. Uh, today, I'm going to be just playing from YouTube, so it keeps the whole thing even, the same quality. Uh, I'm not going to be using different streaming services. I'll just use YouTube. Uh, and I'm going to be using a live uh, recording from the 1975 uh, called Somebody Else. And I'll be playing about 10 or 15 seconds of that. Uh, and hopefully it's got enough bass uh, and it's got enough uh, high end as well to give you a little bit of an impression. I'm going to be recording it on a single um, Marantz microphone. Uh, so it's going to be just one microphone recording. Uh, and I'm not recording in stereo as in having two microphones at each end because I don't think the stereo separation is enough. Um, so let's hear what they sound like. Right, so the first device I'm going to bring up is the Pixel 2 XL, and we're going to have a listen, see what it sounds like. So there we go, um, thought that sounded pretty good, quite like that one myself uh, with this uh, sound separation here, it sounds really good. Um, it's not so toneful in my opinion, I think it's a little bit uh, flat uh, to my ears anyway. Um, I think some of the other ones probably beat it, but um, we're going to have a look and we'll see how it goes. Right, so let's move this one on and let's get the next device. Okay, so the next up is the Xiaomi Black Shark. It's their gaming phone um, based on a Qualcomm 845, 6GB uh, of RAM in this one. Uh, and it's uh, quite an odd phone. Uh, as I switch it back on again, it's quite an odd phone. It's um, It breaks a few of the molds, really. The back of it is uh, ceramic, uh, metal, glass. Uh, it's very slippery, but you can't put a case on it very easily and then use all of the controllers with it. It's um, a little bit of a weird phone. Uh, I've had it for a few days now and I actually quite like it. And the sound is pretty good. So let's um, let's get on to that sound. Let's play the same video, same piece for about a minute and see what it sounds like.
So there we go. I think that one sounds pretty good as well. I'm not so sure it sounds any better than the Pixel 2 XL or any worse, to be honest with you. I can't really tell the difference um, on those two phones. Possibly the Pixel 2 XL is a little bit louder, but I think that uh, Xiaomi is a little bit clearer. Um, it's got a front facing speaker over here. So if I can move my hand over, there we go. So coming out of the earpiece, um, it uh, amplifies from there and it's got a downward firing speaker around about here uh, coming out. So uh, it has the same as the iPhone 10 and as the Samsung Galaxy S9 in terms of arrangement of speakers, but I don't think it suffers for that. Um, sounds pretty good. Okay, let's move on then to the next one. Moving on then to the Axon 7 by the um, infamous ZTE. I think they're still in business um, after running afoul of the American government. But um, this, I think, is one of their finest, if not their finest hour. Uh, the Axon 7 uh, I had over a year ago, uh, and then it went out of my hands for a little while, went to a good home, uh, but it's back now and um, it's working as well as ever and in the audio department it's high on the list in terms of quality I think um, but let's see if the sound can speak for itself sounded I think the best of the three so far um, sounded a bit clearer to me uh, a little bit more level and I thought when the bass kicked in um, I could hear it a little bit better I could hear it more defined uh, I quite like the bass um, being a little bit lower but not too muddy uh, if that makes any sense uh, and I think that the Axon does a really good job of that so out of the three at the moment um, the Axon's winning this contest for me, but we've got a few more to go yet, so let's see where we get to next. So that was the Axon 7. Okay, the next device up is the Samsung Galaxy S9 Plus. Fantastic phone. I can't seem to love it. I'm not sure why, but uh, it's a fantastic phone. Uh, and it's got the same speaker arrangement as the iPhone 10 and the Xiaomi that I've uh, had on here just a few moments ago. Uh, I'm going to move the video on a little bit, um, just into the chorus. I wanted to change the music around a little bit. Hopefully it gives the same effect, so we should be able to get an overall impression of um, how they're performing. Uh, as I said at the start of the video, all of these devices are up to date as of today, uh, June 8th, 2018. Um, the... 
the Pixel 2 XL was running the new Android beta. Uh, so I don't know if that made any particular effect. This Samsung Galaxy S9 is up to date as well, running Oreo. Let's see what it sounds like. So there we go, sounded pretty good. It didn't have uh, enough to it for me. Um, now I know other people will disagree with me on that one and that's fine. Maybe it's the type of music that I like to listen to that's slightly different, uh, but um, where it's synthetic music like that, if I'm being honest, uh, I just think that the S9 lacks a little bit. Um, however, maybe, Maybe I'm wrong in that respect for some people's ears. I'm sure I am. Uh, it's all a matter of personal taste, of course. Uh, but for me, uh, one of the weaker of the um, units so far that I've had. Let's move on, however. Let's move on to the next one. Okay, coming up next, uh, my daily driver, the iPhone X. Um, and... Ever since I got this phone um, and the way that Apple have set it up, I've always thought that it was uh, a very well-sounded phone. Um, and in the top three of everything that I've tested so far, um, I think that keeps up. This is running the latest iOS 12 beta. And I don't know how much it adds. I know that in the, just reading through some of the uh, background material on iOS 12, there are some new sound drivers. Uh, in there and some new uh, music drivers, APIs and things like that. So maybe it's had a small effect. Seeing my phone is slipping down here. There we go, just bring it back up. Um, let's see what it sounds like, however. It's a fraction between, I think, the Samsung Galaxy S9 and the iPhone in this one. For me, to my ears, the iPhone wins out a little bit. Um, I just think that it sounds a little bit deeper and I think it sounds a little bit sharper for what I want to listen to. But to be honest with you, I suppose in many ways I can't really, uh, if you have the two in a blind test, it would be tough for me to tell the difference if I'm being absolutely honest with you. Fantastic sound quality, however, coming from it. Um, uh, maybe just behind the Axon for me, uh, but uh, well up there as well. So that's the iPhone. So here we are with the uh, biggest of the big hitters, the Razer phone. 
I'm sure many people have uh, seen it uh, or heard it. Well, I'm not so sure, actually. You don't see any of them out on the street. I haven't seen any at all on the street. Uh, you'd hear it coming, though, because it's probably the lousiest of all of these. But let's listen to it and see what it sounds like. So there we go. It's certainly the loudest. Um, but to me, to my ears, I'm not sure why. It just doesn't have something about it. It, it just doesn't sound as rich as um, the others. Maybe I just like the higher frequencies more. I'm not sure. But for the music that I listen to uh, in this respect, it's not really there. Now, I don't listen to classical music. I don't listen to jazz or anything like that, really. Uh, so highly instrumental music, maybe um, with traditional instruments, is not the thing um, that I'm testing here or even looking into. So everybody's mileage will vary, of course, on this. Right, moving on then to uh, the last in the um, list, which is the Marshall London. Right, last and by no means least, Marshall London. So we've heard so much about this over the years on PSC and uh, on a few other forums as well. Uh, there are very few of us that uh, exalt the virtues of this hyper expensive, um, not very well specified uh, piece of plastic and glass. But I think it's worth every penny because when you listen to it, you understand exactly why you're paying the money. Um, my opinion, of course, and... Um, you can disagree as much as you want, but you'll have to prize the Marshall London out of my cold, dead hands, I'm afraid. Uh, and that's even before I've pressed the play button. But I think I know what to expect, so let's um, see what we've got. As it turns itself off. So good in my opinion anyway by not by far the best that would be uh, being a little bit disingenuous but um, extraordinarily good I think and um, let's see if I can just move it on a little bit maybe to something uh, a little bit louder see what we've got
So I just scrubbed on there a little bit and uh, just got to the final break in that. And um, yeah, uh, so that's the Marshall London. So my top three uh, out of the ones that I, I had, very difficult to say. Um, I think the Marshall is the winner for me. Um, it's the one that I listen to the most uh, in terms if I want to listen to pure sound quality. Uh, and then I've got the iPhone 10 uh, and the iPhone 10 um, mainly, I suppose, because it's the one that I use all the time. Maybe it's the one that I've got used to. Uh, and I think that it sounds just very good. Uh, and I think it's a, uh, I, I'm not going to say a jack of all trades. I think it's nearly a master of all trades in this respect. Uh, but it just doesn't have the edge on the Marshall in this one. Now the Samsung, fantastic device, but I think the Samsung is very much the same as the uh, Black Shark in terms of um, the sound quality that it produces. I don't think it's particularly different from the uh, Pixel 2 XL either. Um, and maybe, if I'm being brutally honest, I don't think it's massively different from the Razer, only in terms of volume. Uh, the Razer, again, it's very good, uh, but Potentially, I don't think it's the uh, I don't think it's the the best of them all. Um, what well, no? What goes in third place for me is this. So the Axon Seven goes in third place for me, uh, but it could easily be in second place because uh, I think it's a joint second place really with the iPhone Ten. Um, I just think that they're both extremely good, uh, at least in my ears. So that's what we've got then. I mean, disagree all you like. Um, that's fine. Uh, in my opinion, this is what it is. So if anybody wants to um, say why I'm wrong or potentially why I'm right, just uh, add a comment or anything uh, and uh, I will try and respond back with something polite. Okay. Right. Um, just to let you know, I'm thinking of doing another video based on uh, these types of devices. Uh, and what they do and the sound quality, but maybe going back in time a little bit, uh, because this, of course, wasn't the start uh, of the, not a revolution in mobile devices sounding really good. We've had mobile devices sounding really good for an awful long time, uh, going back in time to things like the Walkman uh, and before that as well. Uh, no, I'd like to have a look at phones and potentially things uh, even further back than that. Uh, so I've got some devices that I'm going to be bringing up, things like the Nokia N95 here with its stereo speakers. Uh, so I'm going to be using that and putting that against maybe the best of what we've got today. Uh, and maybe let's um, remind ourselves what we had in the past as well. So some devices that we had in the va in the past, in the past. Uh, some of those devices that we had in the past that we've forgotten about and let's see just how good they used to sound. So here um, we've got, <laughs> this is my um, G1, so Android Tastic, there it is, that G1, and I'm going to be bringing that out of retirement uh, and see what we've got. So if you've got some, maybe some power into that, let's see. Uh, no, nope, got no power at the moment. Uh, I think it's blinking away, but... Um, uh, we can remember what the splash screen on T-Mobile used to look like uh, in that respect. Nope, it's not going to do it. There we go. You can see where I dropped that some time ago. Uh, and uh, an iPhone, um, an iPhone 1. Uh, let's wonder how that sounded with its uh, little speaker down there. You can just about make that out as well. Okay, so I'll get that together at some point in the next few days. Uh, and then we'll see. But overall, my winner is the Marshall. Thanks very much for watching. If you've got any comments or anything, just drop them in and um, come back again at another time. And I will try and have another video on this. And as we get more of these types of devices going out there, I'll try and get my hands on them and just bring a comparison for anybody that likes their sound. Um, let's do it. See you soon. Bye.